be here. Mm-hmm. Has the stream just dropped? It might Ooh, have. Yes. I saw something happened with my internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems to be back now. Okay. Okay. Well, we're back. Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, it looks like it did drop. Ooh, stream dropped entirely. Like the thing's showing zero. Oh, man, I'm going to have to split this video up, man. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to see it. Well, that means you guys get to be on two episodes. That's all that means. The Dave screen says, says broadcast, says broadcast ended. Ended. And Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Very cast. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, since we're in a, a slight lull here, I'm just going to go double check and make sure my router is, is in order. I will be right back if you guys don't mind vamping for a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I've got the visual back. Anyway. But right. yeah, you, you go, you right. go double check that. We've got so much what, what power, we Peter. We've, we been left, we've been left as the hosts of Mythos Busters. We this is amazing. Some, we drop some slayers. <laughs> yeah. Get, get, get we, you know, we just, maybe just make some, some comments about how they all love Drawn to the Flame. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Redirect folks to our patron. Time for some hot takes. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. So what we've decided to do is just for sort of financial reasons, to, for ease of the kind of, you know, accounting and stuff like that, we want all of the Mythos Busters patrons to actually just switch their patronage <laughs> over to draw into the flame. That would really help us out. Um, just, did I, te yeah, did I you... tell you about the, the game I'm playing, Frank? I was going to mention this on stream. Oh, yeah, go on. I bought I bought this um, Scald against the Black. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so up your stream, man. You'd absolutely love it. The, the, the lore is so Frank. It's like, it's like it, the Isle of it's Anana. looking like an 80s RPG yeah. digital game, but it's modern, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And it's it's the role playing system is pretty faithfully. I mean, I guess the only thing is it's got mouse control, so you can use a mouse. Wow, that's so modern. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Um, what did I do? I learned how to make a cheese sandwich. That was good. That's what um, you've learned to do in this game. Is it like yes. cult? What the setting is like? Cult? So you've arrived I, at. A... It's it's it seems to be a kind of fantasy, like a love Lovecraftian fantasy setting. Okay. Um, and there's pirates, so I'm I'm, I'm on an island, mm -hmm. or I'm la I've landed on an island. There was a shipwreck, and I've landed on the island. Pirates, and I've been but... killing giant crabs. Yeah. Nice. That's kind of classic, classic Lovecraft. Yeah. Yeah. Everything Sorry. appears to be in order in as much as I can tell. Uh, okay. So, all right. Hopefully, we we don't drop again. Chat, are we are we like fully back? You can like see and hear yeah, now. Yeah, hopefully, I, I can see the the stream on my phone. So, okay, cool. I think we're good. All right. So, uh, we are on a location. And we didn't say anything dodgy while you were away, by the way. Sean. Uh, I would we expect no upward. less. Proper gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're on a, we're on a bad location. Back. <laughs> and we'd really like to yes, get this clue are. off the penalty here is you can't play cards you can't draw cards and if you end your turn here everything with health takes a direct damage mm -hmm. so that would so, be one on takata one on you okay so what what's our what are our plays here it seems like the obvious thing to do is to succeed at the uh, ability on dowsing rod to remove mm -hmm. the doom and find that mm -hmm. clue and then just move straight to the crystalline cavern <laughs> Yeah. Um, but we are one up with an one icon? Up normally. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now I'm So I'm... our options are dowsing rod to go two up or promise of power and go five up. Mm-hmm. What are you thinking, Sean? Well, and the the other thing that I'm thinking is that when this agenda pops Big boy comes out, so I kind of need to be prepped for that too. <laughs> and he's got yeah. six health, I think, in in solo. Yeah, that sounds about right. Like so, three. so the other thing is that you could move to, if you don't find this clue in your first two actions, you can move to the frigid cave. Mm -hmm. Spend back, two clues to get in there, but then you need. Yeah. Then there's two yeah. clues on there which you could, which you can pick up. True. And then probably next turn you play your second uh, enchanted. No, maybe not. 
Does the um, terror spawn at the lead investigator's location or the location with the highest shelter value? That's a good question. Because if it's highest shelter currently, that would be the snow graves. Yeah, it is highest is shelter. So, okay, that's nice. So that would incentivize you not to open the crystalline cavern yet yeah. if you don't want it on you. So but I guess then, then you could yeah you could kind of awkward you could move back to the treacherous path. It's not it's not ideal, but that's something you could do. Mm -hmm. So it is is the is the basic plan. You spend two actions trying to get that clue, and if you fail, you retreat to a a another location. Yeah. If you pass, you move. Well, if you move into the crystalline cavern, then it's going to spawn there. It's going to spawn there, but you will you will have another turn yep. to deal with it because that doom will be gone. Yeah, I yeah. think I think getting the doom off is the uh, the like main hinge point here, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's the difference between advancing and not next turn. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm being really precious about this promise of power because I know I need it for that crystalline uh, cavern test. Yeah, but yeah. what good is it do me if holding on to it makes it so that I never get there? You know. <sighs> you... You do have other cards in deck that would help you investigate, right? You've got a couple of perceptions. You've got another read the signs. Mm -hmm. You think I commit both divination and dowsing rod on this test? Is that, is that where you're going? Definitely, de definitely dowsing rod. Yes, definitely. Dowsing I was wondering rod. about divination because, of course, those intellect icons won't help you pass any other kind of tests, whereas promise of power will. Right, and that's yeah. that's the. I, like I agree with you, I'm very tempted by promise of power here, but I'm also thinking uh, apropos that's both promise of powers gone. So I've lost both my <laughs> scenes, right. uh, but beyond that, I've got I've got a bunch of other clue tech in there. It's another read, another divination. Yeah. Yep. Another read, another divination, another re um um the perceptions. Uh, as you mentioned, yeah. I do have another Alyssa okay. in there in case in case that yeah. opportunity presents itself. Yeah. So yeah, I reckon it's definitely commit the thousand rod. Yeah. So that's two up. Yeah. Skulls are minus two here. It's whether you want to gamble or whether you want to put the divination in as well to take two more tokens out. So. I mean, it's going to knock three tokens off of the normal bag, and then if we include the frost token, chaining into one of the minus twos, that's another four. So that single token potentially, or sorry, that single icon potentially could knock six tokens out of out of failing me, depending yeah, on the circumstances. Yeah, but there's nine, so it, if you draw that, it's like 50-50, isn't it? Yeah. No, less than... It's not. It's it's actually better than that. There's fewer tokens that would fail you than would pass you if you draw the frost token. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's like three, four, three and a half tokens. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I've already got um, my dowsing rod out. Trying to calculate <laughs> token maths. Yeah. All right. So here's where I'm at. I've already got my dowsing rod out. I'm hoping that mm -hmm. I either draw into my more clue tech or more cancels which will help mm -hmm. my dowsing rod do better for investigating yeah. once I can switch to a higher willpower. Yeah. I really don't yeah. want the dude to come out. I, I want to commit div divination, I think. Okay, three up. Yeah. <sighs> All right, boys, pray for me. Speak to whatever Always deity you me. prefer. <laughs> Put in a good word. That's a yeah, minus yeah. two. Woo! <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. So that's the doom gone. That's the clue in my care. We have another, t we buy ourselves another turn before Big Boy comes out. Yeah. So. This is such an awkward timing. In a way, him coming out next turn would be easier for the decisions because right. if you back, back off to Treacherous Path now, you've then got an action spare, which is, I guess, playing a blade. Probably you not move in to the cavern and then play the blade, right? Blade, and then you're definitely having him spawn, and then he'd top spawn of you, on top, yeah. but you're ready for it, yeah. And you can draw yeah. some cards probably next turn, yeah. Yeah, that's probably the play. Oh, well, but, but I mean, do you even want to play the other blade because you've still got a charge on that blade? Probably, yeah. Move in and 
can't remember what, what does the ability on the caverns do. I, I feel like it makes you safe somehow. The ability on caverns, no, I think, is, is yeah, just... Yeah, it's, it's uh, just find the... Yeah, sorry. Just find the crystal thing. Yeah. All right. Well, here we go. Four clues into caverns. Because you know what? If this okay. goes sideways, at least then I have a... I'm closer you're, to resigning. Yeah. Yeah, you'd need to clear it of clues, but that's what you're working towards anyway. Oh, God. Five shroud, three clues. Whew. Yeah. And it's agility five to get the miasmic crystal. Let's get that out of the way right now while we got the time, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So I'm going to finally use this promise of power I've been clutching onto like a like a security blanket this whole time. Uh, and the astral travel. And the astral travel. So Eight on five. Three up. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, Good yeah, job. Yeah. All right. So, uh, we record Mi miasmic, miasmic crystal. crystal. <coughs> yeah. You got the soaps done as well, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. It's two of the three you wanted yep. done. So now we just see if we can finagle the time to get back up to the frigid cave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll have to swing and through need... like an ice sheet or something, but. You need to get the three clues here if you want to resign anyway. Yeah, true, yeah. true. And so, and two of them would be what you need for the frigid cave. So, yeah. So really, next turn, I think we just dig. Uh, yeah. If we're we afforded so the opportunity to do so. <laughs> All right. So upkeep. Wolf mask. That will be helpful. That will be really helpful. That's yes. Excellent. Okay. And, and Thick wind and the polar vortex get discarded. Thank you. Not that you're hanging around. You're gone. Six of seven doom. And we draw. A dark aurora. This is fine. Mm. This is fine. I'm even on this willpower test. Ugh. Fine. All right. So cultist is minus two. If you fail, shuffle a, shuffle a Tekalili. I'm amazed I haven't drawn one, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So I take Diana big deck. Yeah. yeah. 23 cards left. Um, all right. So I take two horror. Horror is getting nasty now. Yeah. It's not yeah. great. Um, shoot. Does dark memory do direct? I should know this no. as a Diana stand. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Isn't Dark Memory... Uh... Oh, that's Agnes. Oh, God. Sorry. Sorry, Diane. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I'm just... um, it's um... Dark Secrets? Terrible Secret? Terrible Secret. Oh, God. I swear I'm yeah. a Diana fan, guys. I'm not faking Yeah, it's just take one horror. Okay. Yeah. Your Diana credentials in, in shreds. <laughs> yeah, <here>. I know. <laughs> just all of it gone. Okay. So that being said, I think... The likelihood that I'm going to take Takata out again is pretty low. I might just put it on her. You could do one on one, right? Yeah, I could. Uh, yeah, we could do one on one, one on one. And I'm thinking as well, maybe, maybe, um, Hallowed Mirror is going to come in handy. Yes. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether this turn is play the play your hand. Mask, play Mirror, play Soothing Melody, or mm. play Blade, play Mirror, play Melody. Mm. Interesting. You're not going to get any clues this round. No, right? you're a not, one, not one even a little with the dazzle. Yeah. So I think no matter what, I want to play the mask. So let's let's do that. Oh do, well, hang on. Do you? Don't I? Is it five health on the terror? It's six. six. He's three base and then three per. Okay, so without the other blade, you can't kill it. Correct. So you're either going to need a plan to evade it one action this turn, which Wolf Mask does help with, to be mm -hmm. fair, mm -hmm. or to kill it in one turn using the Wolf Mask as well, which involves having the other blade in play. Sure. Which mm. doesn't give you the space to play. Well, you could play the mirror and then have the soothing melody ready to go, but probably you don't. Um, Man, this is a lovely tricky turn. Yeah, <laughs> have the actions. 
Yeah, the charges on Blade are not making this choice easy. I do think being prepped for the boss is the way to go, though, so I think maybe I do yeah. just play out the other Blade on top. Well, I mean, here's, here's another thought. You could move out this location with one of these actions. True. I'm not saying that's the right play. I'm just chucking it in there as well. Right. Yeah. I mean, I could hop back to Snowdrifts and make it chase me. Yeah. The uh, skull token would be significantly can... kinder there, too. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Minus four where you are. You're in this really awkward situation generally, which mm -hmm. is you're sort of ready to fight, but you'd probably need to spend this turn setting up to fight. Yeah. And you're not really ready to investigate. Nope. But you're at the place you want to investigate. Mm -hmm. So there's like there's one line of play here, like you say, of just drawing more cards to help you investigate. Mm -hmm. But that's not going to help you with the terror. No. And the yeah. other line is emptying your hand, getting set up. Which, if you're going to do that, my feeling would be you don't move away. Like, why set up for the fight and then back off from it? Um, the question the is, can you... being the main reason, yeah. Yeah, and also, what do you do? Do you discard the the rod to play your second blade? Yeah, potentially, and then you're looking to read the signs and divination your way through this. Yeah. Spare the rod, but, beat the terror, huh? Just chucked both of those away, and there's not there's a lot yeah. of cards left in your deck. Yeah. Huh, yeah, I hadn't even thought about overriding Dowsing Rod. I got three mm. clues left to get. Eh. Oh boy. Yeah, this is super awkward. Yeah. To be fair, you're just like standing rod. in a room where there's something going on and you're like, what do I do with my hands? That's that's where I'm at right Dowsing now. Dowsing Rod's not helping yeah. you <laughs> that much on this location anyway. Yeah. So it puts you at four on five. Right. Mm. Yeah. If your willpower gets higher, then yeah, sure. It's like, but you'd need your willpower up to another two cancels, if not three, before mm -hmm. you're actually going to even be thinking about it. Yeah. So super awkward. My my line of thought, kind of lining all lining all that up, is I am unforeseeably far from being able to investigate here. So I'm just gonna like mm -hmm. put that up on the shelf for a second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now I just want to decide whether it's worth it to move away to make the skulls a little bit nicer for the purposes of fighting. Mm. The terror has the, the mo four. The terror is still going to spawn where you are. Yep. So if you move away, you're going to then be waiting next turn as well for the mm -hmm. terror to hunt to where, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so and it'll you won't be fighting the terror for two turns. Yep. So that, I mean, that's fine. So then it's like, how do we efficiently use those two turns? So let's see. Here's and unfortunately, five, the thing you'd want to do is get clues, but you can't. Um, so it's maybe drawing cards yeah. or healing. So if I stick here, I mean, that's... if I stick here, then I'm, I'm, I can get three up with the wolf mask on, on two fight tests, which isn't going to, isn't going to be in range of the, the skulls. skulls. The skulls would yeah. would fail yeah. those. Yeah, yeah. You know what happens is when I like I play around seeing a specific token, I almost never actually see it when we actually get to <laughs> get to drawing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But but it, you can't only, just ignore only it. Or draw skulls is here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. All right. Um. So let's see. What what would this look like if I decide to move away? So we go to broad snowdrifts. It come. It it sits here pretty good chance i've still got two dodges in my deck uh, i've got denies in my deck might be able to find something to just sit here and tank the hit is he two and two he's two and two isn't he yeah I think so yeah two and two or two and one mm -hmm. it, it, so is the plan to get the is there anywhere else you want to explore or are you happy once you've got these three clues you can camp here I mean, if we get to that point, I'd probably be fine with it. If, if things go exceedingly well and I find myself with some space to move around and like I have the ability to get more clues, going up to Frigid Cave would be fine. But I'm not I'm because not counting on it. I think at that point then the play is to move away. Because you've got you've you've got the time to do that. Sure. And you've got the time to refill your hand and 
and like uh, play your second blade and potentially play the mirror. Kind of kite the big boy for a couple turns. Yeah. 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 So like up to Rocky Crags, you think? Kiting turn is playing mirror. And, and if it's all about shelter level, then I think it's got to be frozen shores and broad snow drifts, right? They have um, far Rocky... less. They have basically they're basically blank. Yeah. Rocky Crags is minus two for skulls and broad snowdrifts is minus two yeah but rocky crags has the surge ability yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely so the, the nicer place to fight is down south yeah yeah that said even though the rocky crags has the higher shelter that's still within range if i go three up so really just that surge ability is the only yeah. thing I'm, I'm worried about yeah yeah it's only that yeah and that puts me closer to like my secondary objective, which you know, like I could do, like maybe just go up there and I can't even remember you what the shroud the is here. Do you know the clues at the moment? Yeah. Oh, All right. Well, that's where we're gonna go. Let's go. So action two will move. Okay. Oh, you've decided to ignore us. Yeah. This guy. Wait, what? No, because uh, action one was play we... wolf mask. Yeah. No, no I thought we, we were both saying move south to fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, to to snow. <laughs> Because your options for the locations are either a location that gives you an extra treachery or one that doesn't. Sure. And you can't move into the frigid cave without getting the, either these clues or clues off fresh, uh, precarious ice sheet anyway. True. So true. like moving to that does that probably moves you further away from your objectives. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. All right. So broad snow drifts. I mean, do I just camp here and draw a card? Yeah. Or play the mirror, right? Oh, uh, I could play the mirror. God, I just like that mirror seems it's so good, but that double action to get the first one out is so brutal. Yeah. I mean, given that you have what four Takili Lee in the five in the deck as well? <laughs> five. Five. So we've got to factor in that you've probably got a couple of horror waiting for you in the deck. Mm. Yep. And or damage and or you know, whatever whatever yeah. else. Okay, that seems fine. So Ooh, okay, yeah. Wolf Mask, yeah. move, mirror. Okay. Yeah. End and, turn. And upkeep. Hey, Twilight Blade. Okay. That's, yeah. That's probably not going to see play at the moment, but it's got good icons. We'll nice see time. how we do. Yeah. Pop goes the agenda. All right. So, Terror of the Stars, enemy at the revealed location of the highest shelter, which is going to be our cavern here. Wild Terror it's of the Stars is ready. Extreme. Investigators at its location can't resign or discover clues. Okay. Seems reasonable. And our agenda, same, same, same. No changes there. Seven yeah. threshold. Uh, encounter card is a Pyrophobia. Okay, well, this is nice that you've moved from a shelter eight to a shelter four. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there is a, a small prayer that I might pass this one. Um, I don't have any clues, so if I fail Probably this, it's chuck... looking like a frost token. Yeah, or chuck the blade in. Eh, I could chuck the blade. The blade also has combat icons, so I'm looking at that for, for big boy, too. Yeah, 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 I got that. You're what? You're three on four on this test. I'm th yeah, I'm one down. And f flubbing this test, you can't take the four horror, right? No, uh, I mean I could if I load it up on. Oh no, I can't. No, yeah. you can kill Takada. either kill Takada or kill you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I do chuck it. Yeah, maybe I do. Or you accept you're putting a frost in. Or accept. Yeah, maybe I just accept the frost token. Still pretty that's the trap though. right that's the trap that's the trap i think i my feeling would be twilight blade you do have the boosts on wolf mask for for combat true so you're not completely boostless true okay yeah i am convinced blade takes the one up and then even if you pull say a minus three you can still take the horror mm -hmm. all right blade in one up Hey! Yeah, good. Good play, good play. Okay, here we go. That's a zero. Okay, you're gone. All right. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, do I just soothing melody out of the gate and give myself a little bit more space and see another card? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think so. And then it's deciding whether you play the other, other um, the other Oof. blade. Yeah. Hey, another soothing melody. I did shuffle, right? Okay. Pretty yeah. sure I did. Yeah. I was just going to say as yeah. well, if it's a tequila Lee that costs you resources, that's going to screw you for playing the next enchanted blade. True. You've got lucky. I um, think like you, you could play the other melody. Mm -hmm. So that's basically healed you enough to tank a hit from mm -hmm. the terror. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then play your bla the, the other blade as well. And then and next then turn you go hits ham. You, yeah. And takes you back to where you were. <laughs> <laughs> You've just treaded water. Broad yeah. water. Broad and water. So are we thinking we're fighting it's... it at the snowdrifts then? Yeah, because then skulls are only a two. Yeah. 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 That works for me. Probably I'm going to draw a Tekalili. So do you play the blade first? I think I do. So that if it's a Tekalili that costs you resources, you're all right? Yep. Do you guys think you I play it over the, the dowsing rod? Yeah, I think you do. And Ooh. you hope for a divination later. Uh, I don't think the dowsing rod helps you that much. Or yeah, not with not with like how slow my willpower has been this game. Holy cow, we were just yeah. talking about cancels. It's funny as well, right? At the start, Peter, were you thinking there were too many cancels in the deck? No, I thought there wasn't enough. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you may be vindicated. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm like, I'm I'm the Diana Diana newbie here, so <laughs> you folks were like, oh, I'm sure it's fine. So I was like, oh well. Well, I'm trying to be prepared for this campaign. I am. I'm doing like test runs with this deck against the scenarios yeah. before I actually play them on stream, and it worked. It worked pretty well. But yeah, when you don't see the early well, ones and get the cycle going, yeah. it's, it's it's. And the, to be fair, the card coming was, out. Oh, go on, Peter. I was going to say the card I was coolest on was Dowsing Rod, but actually, it's turned out to be pretty good. You've got good use yeah. out of that. Yeah. Yeah. At least three or four extra moves. We've got an episode coming out shortly on like how you analyze your play mm -hmm. and you know post post game, and this is a really great example where maybe you've just gotten lucky with how the deck has come out to you. I mean, you've you've had some good cards, but you've not seen that many cancellations. Mm -hmm. That's maybe not necessarily a problem with the deck. It's just yeah, sometimes they chain and that's great, and sometimes in Diana they don't, and you have a more awkward time. Yeah, and and that's Sometimes. that's kind of like yeah, I was mentioning. You kind of decide how much you want to count on using your high willpower, and mm -hmm. and that's just mm -hmm. such a big factor in in the whole decision yeah. process there. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, so we played when the blade, I... we played yeah. the melody, play another melody. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, yep. There we go. Discard an asset you control. Oof. Well, I've played two soothing melodies already. Do you think yeah, I just chucked the copy. mirror? Yeah. I think I just yeah. chucked the mirror. That's me. Go dig the other one out. So you basically spent three actions, two resources to heal. To heal four. And. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's that's kind of you to say. I don't know. It's it's a little bit of a dicey deal, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, no, it's all right. So then this goes on the bottom of the Tekalili deck. There's a little. Oh, look at yeah, that! Nice. Look at that! That's so slick. Okay. Enemy face. Good turn. Yeah. Boy moves in. Enemy face. Boy hits me. And we upkeep. We have a I horde. Say, yeah, water protection. Uh, now. It's nice, pretty nice. Actually. It'd be yeah. perfect. Okay. Puts you within. Yeah. All right. One of seven. Just please, not another big enemy. Just please, not another big enemy. <laughs> okay. Ice shaft. Um. I feel like I can just take this. Potentially. Yes. They put one on me and one on Takata. If you fail, yeah, you might not fail. Yeah, that's true. You can't use the Wolf Mask boost because you, you want to could, save them. But, yeah. yeah. <laughs> true. Okay. So probably even. not worth it. But is 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 it is it 
worth cancelling this just for plus one willpower. Just to get to all the willpower, but will I'm not even I'm not even using willpower for anything no, at this point. Blade, your blade doesn't use willpower, doesn't it? So yeah, yeah. Even. Ooh, what are you? You're minus two. Minus two. Okay. That's so two damage. So I take one there, and I'll put one on Takata. All right, let's do some work. Let's do some work. I'm gonna bring Big Boy down to my play area just for the purposes of keeping this tight. He's technically at the location. Don't yell at me. All Come right. On. Well, we just swing now, right? Yeah. Okay, so seven to four. Seven. Mm -hmm. That's a minus three. Minus three. That's lovely. That's two damage. Go again. Spend my offering. Three up. Nice. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Now the real question. <laughs> now the real question. This? Do I commit my ward <laughs> to make sure that I, I kill this guy this turn? Well, to not sure. It's never sure, but... Because I only get to two up, even if I commit it. Yeah, committing ward to go to two up, man, brutal committing ward. And you it know, doesn't have retaliate. It does not have. Nice. It does not have retaliate. It's uh, hunter and massive. You can survive another hit from it. Mm -hmm. You can't play the ward then. Oh, you. I suppose you could put one. One and one. So that'd be Carter. one. One. Why they put you on five? Yeah. Yeah. Gets super awkward though. Mm. My gut says commit it. But yeah. I don't know I can Give myself the best chance of victory. <laughs> but if, okay, so if I commit it and it fails, I still take the hit and I'm top decking. Yeah. So keeping the ward, the benefit to it would be stopping a treachery. I don't even know what treacheries mm. I'm really looking out for at this point. This is. This is getting super dicey. <laughs> yeah. you, you weirdly kind of want to, if you miss the swing, you kind of want to draw an enemy next round to recharge the wolf mask. True. Yeah. But then that's also really uncomfortable because you've got not enough damage. Yeah. Skittering nonsense mm. would be great if I miss this. Um, yeah. But you'd only have one charge left. So I only yeah, have one charge just... left. Okay. You know what? We're We're just... I think we got to go for our, our best yeah. bet at, at actually succeeding. Takes the this skulls round. out, right? Yep. It's, it's a big commit. Yeah, the skulls yeah, yeah. Minus I two. Yeah. yeah. It's six tokens you're removing for one card. Yep. It's worth it. All right. So that's two up. Just tense. Come this, on. This is this is this is one of those token pulls where like the rest of the scenario is hinging here. <laughs> mm, welcome to solo. Uh -huh. Two up. Oh, yes. oh yes. cultist is a minus Blade. two. <laughs> Woo! Vindication. <sighs> I knew my gut was right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone need a cigarette? That was that was yeah. a lot. Stiff drink. Whew. Okay. That was that was a that was a hump to clear. That was that was a big moment. Now we can reconnoiter and and, and recollect ourselves yeah. and I don't know. Let's see where we go. Yeah. So we go upkeep. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's uh, useful. Yeah. Yeah. We go two of seven doom and we draw. Eh. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> I called it. That's fine. I called yeah. It. I think yeah, it's fine. Well. Cool. So skittering nonsense recharges wolf mask. <laughs> do I use the charge or do I just hit it twice? Man, like, I, think I, I feel to... like you need you need the actions to find your clue tools. Yeah, I need there's to not back many up. turns left. Okay. Yep. So action one. Oh, I don't know why I did the middle one. Uh, we will swing and charge the blade. So that's going to be three up. I think you spend that charge as well. Yeah, I think so too. So we'll spend the wolf wolf offering, the wolfering, if you will. And that's five up. <laughs> that's three up. Yeah. That's a curse. Come on. Oh my come my! On, is it on, not the on. consequences of my own actions? Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Go. Yep. Nice, nice. Good call on the the wolf <laughs> the wolf offering. I might not have done that. <laughs> this is why I bring you guys with. 
Um, <laughs> so he's defeated, and I get a Tekalili for my troubles. Okay. Cool. There's no point in moving back into the Crystal Caverns until Continue. you're ready yeah. to start yeah. dealing with it. So I think I so hard yeah, draw. It's probably drawing cards. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, great. All right, cool. Okay. Where have you been? I wouldn't have to fuss hmm. over all these charges if I had drawn you early. A machete. Mm. All right. To be fair, you've not had the problem of not having enough charges. True. I mean, you do you do now. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But you have just one of machete, so I think, I think you're safe. All right. Uh, keep. There you are. That's terrible secret. So, given the so new ruling on this. Pre for each and for every or post, yeah. In in just like solidarity with with all Diana players out there, I want to ignore the new ruling, but mm. I, I do that at home. When I stream, I try to play it straight and the way that most other people play the game. So unfortunately, I mean I've only got two cards. So like And you've got denied. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one horror. I'm going to put it on Takata. If she dies, she mm -hmm. dies. I got to get through this scenario. <laughs> like, that's kind of where I'm at. And, yeah, but don't lose Takata. She's got so many resources for you. Uh, Although, actually, her her dead ability is really good as well. True. So. Uh, and then I'm going to deny the other one. So I take a horror to keep Dark Insight. I take a horror to, to keep Ward, and I deny that horror. Which draws me a card and a resource. Oh, hi, Takalili. What are you? If it is your turn, lose an action. Otherwise, lose an action during your next turn. Beep. Not great. I would have preferred probably literally any other version, but here we are. Okay. Your willpower hasn't gone up this time on the little dial. Okay, there you go. Okay. That Two was... Turn. That was upkeep? That was upkeep, yeah. That was upkeep. Okay, so we go three of seven doom. And we draw. I mirage. Touch the nearest location. Oh no, that's gonna go on crystalline caverns, isn't it? Yeah. Screw this guy. I hate this card. Well, so at least you don't have many cards to lose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like I'm gonna get those clues yet, anyway. Okay. Well, back to mm -hmm. back to top decking, aren't we? Was a little yeah. Painful was, the it's three of seven doom, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's the next highest shroud? The next highest shroud? Three. Shelter. Yeah. shelter oh, shelter, three. yeah. Is, um, yeah, the graves. Still graves. Five. Is still five, yeah. yeah. So that's two actions to move and resign. True. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like so this is actually very, a decent place to up. camp in, in the interim while I try to get my shit yeah. together. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I draw. I guess you're still, you're still drawing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think All so. right, yep, oh. let's just run these out. Take run damage. out of your deck. Yeah, we're just going to run her hot. And we'll draw. Okay, cool. Okay. See, these are the kind of cards I would have loved to see earlier, game. <laughs> you know, if you're taking requests, I, I, might, I might protest. We upkeep. Oh, come on. <laughs> Another <Beautiful>. dodge. <laughs> They are, like the cards are just really not coming out in the right order this game. Sometimes it happens. Yeah. Yeah. Four of seven. Zero visibility. This is fine. This is fine. So put it into play in your threat area as an additional cost for you to leave a location with the treachery attached to it. You must spend or sorry, you must spend an action at the end of your turn, test agility to if you succeed, discard zero visibility. So this is only gonna work if it combos with something else. Of course, yeah. it's gonna take so me an you extra go action. Into the to... Crystalline cavern and then go, oh my goodness, actually I want to go resign somewhere else. Yeah. That's when that becomes an issue. Exactly. Okay. Well. A read the signs or a divination is what we want, right? Yeah, well, well. we're gonna see another machete. Action two. We're gonna see. Oh come on, voice of raw. Honestly, might be the first thing that gets that gets upgraded out. I um I did that thing when I'm deck building 
where I included like one too many ideas and I thought I was going to have more like token play in this deck and I do not. Mm. Um, I, I mean, you kind of need it for resource economy anyway. Yeah. Because this game, you had nine resources from Takada. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my deck just refuses to spit out anything useful. 10 cards left in deck. Yep. Perception, divination, read the signs. There should be one like of each six of, those, of them right? in there are my clue cards. Yeah. Okay. okay. End of my turn. Zero visibility. Uh, I think I'm safe committing one dodge to this. We mm -hmm. go two up. That's a minus two. Nice. Lovely. That's gone. And we upkeep. Come on. Come on. Yay! Yay. We Definition. did it. Here we go. We did it. Okay. Lovely. Five of seven doom. We're getting real friggin' close here. Oh, no! There's Six of evil. seven. <laughs> oh, well, no. <laughs> and I can't cancel it. Well, boys, I think that might be the writing on the wall right there. And you didn't cancel the one you could have canceled. <laughs> oh, no, no. Frank is vindicated from the beginning of the game. Yeah. Came back to haunt me <laughs> in the end. life, man. Oh, no. Okay. So you could play Divination, mm -hmm. move in, and get two clues, mm -hmm. which is not enough. Yep. Oh, I think so I might have to just resign my ass on snow graves, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. So close. Yeah. All right. You guys Damn. don't like, I have no other action compression here. There's no movement left. There's no additional clues. Yeah. I, I don't see any way yeah. that I clear. If you had Dowsing Rod still out, you yeah. could move in, but it's. Your stats weren't quite there. You'd be a four on five, either yeah. one. Was that five shroud that was the kill? The killer? Yeah. Like, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we said this at the beginning, right? That that Diana suffers. Well, should we, should we wrap this up and then we'll do a yeah. post more? Yeah, then, then, then we'll. we'll, <laughs> we'll cry in our yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yep. So action move, action resign at Snowgraves. Blech. Boy, I can't say I'm happy about it, but I guess we yeah, we got some W's. We we got the Yeah. We got big boy, which is nice. I would say, yeah, don't be too hard on yourself because you you played really smoothly. It went really well generally, apart from the deck did the classic solo thing of not giving you combat tools for the big fight and then mm -hmm. not giving you clue tools for the clue so part. So, so here's my spin. Then is was the problem pre-deciding going for the crystalline cavern when we could have hit Lake's camp or Barrier camp? Because are they four and three shroud? Let's see. Yes. So Barrier camp is four. Lake's is uh, yeah. Remember, it's Lake's camp is three. For some reason, it's mm -hmm. upside down. Is that possibly shelter seven? So, so yeah. I guess that's that's the decision. It, would it have been better to have because I think you had not a terrible champ, uh, chance of hitting up Lake's camp. The other is was the play not to move away. You didn't draw any scores in the end. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, like always. So actually, that that the pissing about we did probably we didn't need to do. You could have just played the second blade, stayed there, because you ended up taking everything you healed with the, the soothing melody back on you again. Mm -hmm. You didn't know you weren't going to draw a skull, right? right? You can't make the decision. And yeah, you drew an auto fail anyway, actually. So, so being at that location made no difference. Mm -hmm. Ah. But, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think, I think. I think possibly it would have been a better idea for me to like actually map out the optimal path. The the treacheries that come out and stick to locations complicate that depending on what happens. But yeah, I think I, I mean I think ultimately what it was is I just I assumed because my normal Diana decks do this is I assumed in the back half of the game I'd be able to shift to like a five or six willpower 
and do mm -hmm. most of my things yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And that did not happen. <laughs> and that just stopped me in my tracks. Like as soon as we got through that boss fight, just like if you're t playing true solo and you're spending six hard actions to draw single cards, like you're, you're in trouble. And, mm -hmm. and I definitely was. So. But I also I think, think it's actually, I think it's solo doing that drawing mm -hmm. because you, you've only got you to rely on. Yep. So you can't just be following someone who's kind of getting stuff done while you're, you know, footling around the edges. In yep. solo, if you can identify, I need clues to finish this scenario, then you, like, that was the right line. It's just it feels really awkward if it's if it's drawing that many times. I think yeah. in this campaign as well, the the padding of the deck with the tekalulis. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, it, 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 yeah, it, it only makes getting some draw acceleration more important. Like, if nothing else, it helps you draw those Tekalilis back out of your deck. Yeah. Because you want them in the earlier scenarios, not the late ones. Mm -hmm. True story. And you don't want to draw them all into your deck. All right. So, Shelter 5 victory display is just big boy. He's a 1. Still 6, six XP, right? 6 XP. Two damage, two mm -hmm. horror on Takata. And yeah. we go to the disappearance. So see, here's what's really rough. Is, uh, of course, the, the prep game that I did at home went significantly mm -hmm. better than this. I got to the Crystalline <laughs> yeah. Cavern. I skipped part two of Ice and Death. And, and you know, I've already, I've already played through Forbidden Peaks with that playthrough. But now we're going to yeah. have to go into part two. Hmm. Um, so it's it's more work. delicious hashtag content for the viewers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. True, true. And you can remove frost in part two. Yes, you can. All right, so let's see who's safe in part two, and then everyone else goes missing if uh, if I remember correctly. So safe is Takata, Doctor nice. Sinha, Professor Dyer, Ellsworth, and Cookie. Good. Everyone else will go missing. So that's Claypool. Yeah, so that's... Uh, Kensler. That's Kensler. Claypool. Elias dead. Danforth. And Danforth. Those yep. are the three missing. Yep. yep. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh, boy. They're on their own, I guess. No, we're going after them. We'll do that next time. <laughs> And all right, cool. So I will do the rest of that cleanup after we log off. Okay, all right. Well, well, thanks for having us. Well, yeah, thanks for thanks for coming out. Do you guys? Uh, I know that went a little bit longer than your average solo game. You guys have uh, a little bit of steam and or time to to chat for a bit, or do you got to get going? I've got another ten minutes. I need. I'm I'm making dinner. Beautiful. Um, so oh, okay. I need to yeah. Shut off and do that, but I can I can easily stick around for another ten minutes. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um. So we were talking. We were talking before we uh logged off or sorry logged on to the stream about Hemlock. Um. What what actual campaigns do you have going right now? Like who who are you playing? Like how's it going? You know, as, so, as spoiler light as you can be, obviously. Frank and I are about to hit the finale of mm -hmm. Hemlock in our first playthrough i don't think you've got up there in your subsequent playthrough yet have you yeah that's right yeah so we are playing bless zoe and kahaku and that is regular uh, zoe or parallel zoe bless zoe so, so pa parallel zoe yeah. okay i cool. call her bless zoe yeah. because she's bless zoe got it, um, got it. yeah and that is like more fun than a barrel of monkeys it's so so much fun <laughs> she's really playthrough. cool um we we did when it when when the two decks get going, there it's, it's so slick. The last scenario we played, which was the the caves, okay, good. Without wanting to get any more into spoilers, <laughs> yeah. Um, written in rock right is the, the through, name, right? We, that one. What's what's uh, that? Written no, in the rock. lost sister. Oh, lost sister. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So we got Those right caves. through. <laughs> yeah. We got right through the, through the scenario, and it a bit. It, we, we did that quite well, actually. We, we I think we we were quite accomplished in that playthrough. 
And then we sat and looked at the end and thought, hang on, we forgot to use Zoe's plus one damage ability for the whole scenario <laughs> where you can take the three bless out of the bag. And like, like we still did well. Okay. We still had blesses flowing around the place, but we'd forgotten that ability. Yeah, Are you and finding... we'd seen a couple of big enemies where we were like, oof, that's going to be tough to yeah. chew through. Like that could have yeah, helped. Yeah. Are you finding that uh, Kohaku's predilection toward balance and adding curses to the bag is messing with Zoe's mojo at all? No. 100% no. <laughs> I'm running Right of Equilibrium, which I think is an incredible card. That's great. It's there to fuel uh, getting Bless in the bag if Zoe needs it, mm -hmm. but mostly it's just to make sure I have enough curse for Eye of Chaos and things like that. And actually, I don't need to add Bless most of the time. You're slewing uh, yeah, so, yeah, it's so like the much. The Bless generation is insane. Ancestral Token plus Bless Zoe, it's just like... And like we get yeah. we get to a point in Gahaku's almost like constantly on four action turns as well. <laughs> yeah. Like Zoe can more than easily add two bless a turn, mm. um, so Gahaku needs to add like two curse. And two I'm curse running Gabriel. Oh, okay. Gabriel. So you've got a constant <laughs> flow of curses then. Yeah. So it's like so oh yeah, like, ha -ha. curse, draw a card. Oh yeah, and I'll take a four action turn with an extra card. Yeah. Yeah. What covenant are you running in Kohaku? None, None currently. You not? Oh, you do not have a covenant. Oh wow, spicy. So are Zoe you looking at one? Has ancient. Zoe went ancient. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, so the myth, the book of living, book, the book of absolute legends. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> let's uh, Zoe draw a blessed token out the bag, and then use her covenant. Ancient to covenant. Basically, just put it automatically back. pass the test. Oh, oh and, okay. No. So Zoe's also running Blessed Blade level four. So we can do like Zoe attacks, gets plus two from Blessed Blade, puts two blesses in the bag, automatically draws one with that, mm -hmm. stops mm -hmm. drawing tokens, but puts that bless back in the bag <laughs> and then adds another bless because of Zoe's ability. And Blessed Blade, if you reveal blesses while using Blessed Blade four, you don't remove them. Yeah. So I'm like deliberately getting him to draw blesses that he just gets to keep. Yeah. Is... <laughs> just free blesses. Are, yeah. are you uh, leaning toward Nephthys in that build, Peter? I think it. I think Nephthys doesn't combo with Parallel Zoe's ability. Oh, because she holds them out, doesn't she? She like it. it there's yeah. some. Mm. Yeah. There's some like awkwardness of wording, which means it doesn't work. So what am I? Have I got an ally in that deck, Frank? <laughs> no. 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 I don't think I've got Hilariously, an ally. it's ally free. Yeah. Wow. And it was only later that we were like, so what ally are you running? Oh. He's like, oh, I've, I've, I've quite one. forgotten one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's been fine. There are some people you pick up who take up ally slots in Feast of Hemlock Vale, or one one ally that's not a human that you can pick up that takes up the ally slot. Mm -hmm. um, I am running Ritual yeah. Candles, obviously. That's a key. Yeah. And to answer your covenant question, I might go paradoxical. Because yeah. I'm running in favor of the moon, because I'm running curse. And then the bag is normally like eight to ten bless. So if I see a bless, I can immediately hit a curse if I want to. Um, yeah, Kohaku is just basically picking what you want from the bag at any given time. It's He's so really fun. good. Um, and yeah. You know, one of the cool things about Hemlock is he actually, in the preludes, has the ability to just pull his signature asset to take yeah. into just yeah. about yeah, every yeah. scenario. And that's so nice i'm sure that's skewing it as well <laughs> yeah. yeah the prelude to basically make sure you have book of absolute legends <laughs> i so. think if it would be nice to tweak that team with one more investigator who could do some heavy cluing and then free up some yeah. slots in kaku's deck for more support and then a bit of damage as well mm -hmm. and um, the other thing we're really hurting for is agility we yes. have a con combined agility of three across across the party. So any time we're hit with agility, we're both we both kind of like Kahaku looks to Zoe and Zoe looks to Kahaku. <laughs> it's like then, it's like the blind yeah, leading the blind. The chin. Yeah, yeah. It, it, like the only thing we can do is Kahaku moves to me and then lets me read the Book of Absolute Legends to draw a blessed <laughs> to automatically pass the test. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. that's, that's basically we'll... our one strat for most yeah. issues. Yeah, because <laughs> I've got the ritual yeah. candles, so bless is plus three. So I can pass a, yeah. a five difficulty agility test. So it's just like Gahaku's running over. Say, oh yes, there's a, there's a story about that in here. 
Yeah, my <laughs> my blind playthrough with Justin was uh, I was playing Kohaku, and, and I can tell you that agility tests were the absolute bane of my existence in that campaign. I got straight up yeeted mm-hmm. out of a scenario for failing one. It feels like early on yeah. the like the modular day encounter set that you put in the day one mm-hmm. one is an agility test, so it just felt yeah. like I got hammered it almost felt like a war crime to have the that one <laughs> agility investigator release in that box but you know, mm, we got mm, through it yeah no it hits you hard yeah and then i'm also soloing as wilson okay which is that's fun yeah like threes across the board is 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 awkward as a, as a solo investigator but he's He's kind of fun. Actually, similar to your Diana play just now. It's like if all of the pieces come out, you're yeah. like, ah, oh, I can do so much. You just need and a little don't... help. And, you know, he's yeah. kind of fours across the board if you're re- like, you know, when it when it push comes to show. If you have the right pieces to yeah. do that. Yeah. And then there can often be moments where you're like, ah, oh, I don't quite have the right tool for this job. Mm-hmm. But I'll, I'll keep tweaking the deck because I think having a good solo tool suite will be a cool thing. Yeah, like, yeah. It'll be fun to do but i haven't got that yet but yeah it's it's good as well have either um, of you taken alessandra for a spin yet i've no. heard good stuff but i've not i've not played it yeah. you were speaking very highly of her on on the podcast right yeah well and she's she's so good obviously she's the para, she's the parlay investigator and it turns out in hemlock there's a lot of parlaying to be done <laughs> And, yeah, and yeah, yeah. you know that. In addition to just all the fun toys that she gets, she's she's so good. And mm-hmm. in some ways, and she the feels stat a line as well. It's a good solo stat line straight yes. away for intellect, for agility. You're like, okay, good solo I stat line and access it. to good solo cards. Like, mm, mm-hmm. would recommend. Yeah, yeah, cool. Well, I'm um, also playing through. Oh, I've got, I've got. Well, we've got one more shared playthrough on the go. Where Ooh. Frank and I are playing Susie oh, yeah. through the Innsmouth Conspiracy. Susie! <laughs> we love Susie. Yeah, for Think on Your Feet. Yeah. What's the Susie She's build look like? Aside from a gooey mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's kind of... it's. Well, it's a classic solo build. It's like 50 good cards, as sure. Scott would say. Mm-hmm. It's like... Yeah. Selection. It's very similar to your Diana deck in a way. There's Ward in there. There's Enchanted Blade, Machete. And then... We're also doing some allied dancing, so we're doing laboratory assistants, art students, bouncing in and out. Okay. They're good to consume and then regurgitate. I think a lot <laughs> of those, I think the, the thing that's really good is a lot of those kind of good solo cards work well in Susie as well. So flashlight and art student, it, mm-hmm. if you get, you can just cycle those through. So yeah. you, you play them, you use them, you, you, you swallow them, Devour you them, regurgitate yeah. them. Well, and yeah, Susie's it's, it's, so interesting because she's got like this circadian rhythm that you you play with, where yeah, you can mm-hmm. you can just pass yeah. tests by taking tests when you've got five cards underneath there, and she's not mm-hmm. you know, she's got like fives in all her stats. But then you get back down to those moments where you're like one or two cards or or less, and you're like, oh well, I just need to not touch the the chaos bag right now. So that's that's yeah. a cool cool include so to my, just have a nice mix of things that you don't test for. My hot take is that you feel so the high stats means you well you get high stats which is which is you can pass all the tests because mm-hmm. it's it's a, it's a bump across the board and in solo your need for action compression is much less and then you also have the tools in your deck to help you like I mean Frank built the deck so so you know he's he's the master in this regard there's a load of tools in there to carry you through while you've got the low stats mm-hmm can be kind of swallowed to build you back up to the high stats Mm -hmm. so Mm -hmm. it doesn't matter that you know a a five shroud location susie can very easily investigate at the right time like (laughs) yeah at the right time there's usually only i mean this is the exception i'm sitting staring at a five shroud three clue (laughs) but like (laughs) you know that high shroud location that comes up usually only has one eye or even just one clue on it so you just Mm -hmm. play your art student you get the clue off that location and then she investigates the low shroud locations, just like, you know, two clues, two actions, that's fine. So, like, it, I think she's well suited um, for solo, both in how she plays and also in how Frank's built the deck. Oh. <laughs> she's just yeah. fun. Yeah, I have a. Uh, I yeah, have she's, a... And she's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah. loads of fun. 
I, and I, I mean, love, I love when Arkham lets itself get a little weird and wacky. Like I, I appreciate that some people really like it when it's got this purest feel to it and it's taking itself seriously. But you know what? Sometimes you do just need to have a nun shooting Cthulhu <laughs> in the face with a shotgun and, and a girl made of goo. Um, and I and I think like that that it's it's just interesting. You, I mean, you draw more cards, which is good. Um, that's just powerful because you don't really discard one of the cards because it just goes unto unto your hunger, so it can come back. Yeah, exactly. So she her her ability is powerful, mm-hmm. but then also there's a really interesting choice every single turn of what you do devour. And I think that's just the stuff that fun Arkham is made out of. Like, mm-hmm. what do I do with all these cards mm-hmm. in my hand? What other purpose do they yeah. have beyond playing them? Yeah. Useful choices, yeah, yeah. So that's uh, the the other one that I have because, like, anytime you try to build an investigator that's got a giant deck like that, like Lola, I have the same problem. It's like, all right, I can access all the factions, but how do I build a deck in such a way that it's actually kind of mechanically unified and playable? Um, mm-hmm. So I've got an, an item driven Susie that just has big items and, you know, item item tutoring mm-hmm. and desperate. Uh, you know, uh, oh, my God, what is, what is it? Active desperation. There we go. And and things like that. And like all the XP desperate is just, act. Yes. Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> all of the XP for that deck is just going into buying bigger items. So that way, you know, and, and backpacks mm-hmm. and you just like nice, turn through nice. that one's fun. Yeah. Backpacks are really nice there. And then the other one that yeah. I have is okay. Well, let's do let's pull all the bless cards from uh, uh, different mm, mm, different nice. factions, and then you know, use the other factions to to shore up what you can't pull bless from. And that one is my father, son, and holy goo deck. <laughs> and, it, I don't know. and of yeah. course, so sometimes the name comes first, doesn't it? it sure does. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Normally, with with bless or curses as a team, you you need to do it as a team because one investigator can't access all the cards unless they have specific deck building mm-hmm. that, that gives them access to all cursed. So yeah, if you find an investigator where you can, a they have enough deck slots to include all of the stuff you want, and then b you can access across all of the classes. That's that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, I want to see that deck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we've done slightly. We've done multi class cards a little bit. Mm-hmm because of the way that they then can fill in some of the gaps. Yep. And so we've we've been toying with, do we go synergy? Um, we've run Close the Circle, which is a nice synergy extra action. Sure. Yeah, again, she can make synergy work in a way that almost no other investigator can. And because, like, her, especially for, like, Close the Circle, because all of her stats go up, you know, in a uniform nature. Like, it kind of doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. Like, some, yeah. some, some synergy decks would look at Close the Circle and be like, well, I'm not, what am I going to do with willpower? But Susie doesn't care. Just as good as anything else. Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't care. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. All right. Excellent. Well, cool. Uh, Peter, I, I don't want to keep you away from the noble endeavor of making dinner. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank so you. thank you both and so much for, for coming in. And uh, thank you so much for the invite. Absolutely. I'm hoping I'm hoping we can get this uh, get this together again, maybe at the close of this campaign or maybe next campaign whenever I start up a new one. But yeah. I'd be, yeah. be really rad to have either or both of you back. Um, what what are you guys doing? Uh, go ahead, plug plug some drawn to the flame stuff. What are you guys doing right now? Anything you want to point people at? Just the, uh, the I mean the event. We did a podcast mm-hmm. about the event, so check that out. And uh, if you got any questions, drop us a line. Um, we got uh the Susie think on your feet is underway at the moment. So yeah, drop into that. There's you can go back and listen to the to the to the rest of the episodes. And yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, and I think mm-hmm. Frank has hinted that we've got an episode coming about assessing your play um, in the near future yeah. as well, which was an interesting one. So awesome. Yeah, I'm is editing that. that Excellent. Right Ish. <laughs> this evening. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks, Sean. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thank thanks, you, guys, and thanks everyone who came uh, and watched the stream, and y'all on YouTube, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.